Close your eyes, watch your breath, and then remember to stay with the breath. Each time the breath comes in, goes out, you want to be right there for it. Follow it all the way in, all the way out. And John Lee's image is of watching cows at a cattle gate. You watch them go into the corral, then you watch them go out of the corral. You stay right at the gate. And notice if the breath is comfortable. And you always keep this point in mind, because other thoughts will come into the mind, but you have to let them go. It's only when you can let them go that you can stay with the breath continually, and changes will happen in the mind. The mind will get more settled down, have a sense that it can be secure here with the breath. Because for the most part, we go jumping around. Look at this, listen to that, go back, look at this, taste that, think about this, think about that. The mind's running around all day, so it's used to being in a state where even if it lands on something, it's got to be ready to jump again. It's like a cat jumping around the furniture of a room. It jumps from one chair to the next chair, and then immediately tenses up so it can jump to another chair. What you want to find is a place right on the floor where the cat can spread out in the sunlight and melt into the present moment, have a sense of being securely here. To do this requires mindfulness, the ability to keep something in mind, because the mind so easily forgets. You may hear for one moment and someplace else, and you don't know how you got in the new place. It is all very quick. It's because the mind passes out briefly, so you're trying to fight that tendency. Because when the mind passes out like that, it can change directions very quickly. As the Buddha said, there's nothing that can change as quick as the mind. The only way to counteract that is to develop your mindfulness. Keep in mind that you've got a good purpose here, and you want to maintain it. This is why mindfulness is a strength. You stick with it. It turns into other strengths as well, the strength of concentration, the strength of discernment. But for not, right now, you simply want to remember, stay right here, stay right here. So you can get the mind under control, and it can have some time to settle in. It's only when the mind is settled in that it feels secure. Otherwise, it's very precarious, jumping here, jumping there, landing on places that are not all that secure, which is why it has to keep jumping more. But here the breath is here. As long as the body is alive, there's always going to be breath. So you're in a safe place. Just pay careful attention to it and don't pay attention at the moment to anything else. You have to have a sense of time and place for your thinking. Because there are things we do have to think about in the world, but not all the time. The mind needs a chance to rest. You can compare it to a knife. If you just keep cutting, cutting, cutting with the knife, after a while the knife gets dull and you can't cut very well. But if you sharpen it regularly, then just one chop and cuts right through. The same with, the, with our thinking. It's not the case that a lot of thinking is necessarily going to solve a problem. Sometimes the mind needs to rest, and then it looks at the problem and it can see it right away, see the solution right away. It's because it's been sharpened. So give the mind a place to rest, so that when the time comes when you really do have to use it, It'll be ready for whatever you have to cut right through.